And now to whistleblowers who are raising troubling safety questions at one of the most toxic locations on Earth. The Hanford Nuclear Power Reservation in Washington State is where plutonium was created for the first atomic bombs. The environmental cleanup of 56 million gallons of radioactive sludge that it were left behind has been plagued by delays, design problems, and fears that a deadly hydrogen explosion or even a nuclear chain reaction could occur because of these safety issues. The issues have been flagged by high-ranking employees who say they suffered retaliation for speaking out. For more, we're joined from Seattle, Washington, by Donna Bushy, who until two weeks ago was the head of nuclear safety for the cleanup of that former nuclear weapons site in Hanford, Washington. She was fired on February 18th for what her company called unprofessional conduct. She says she was fired for speaking out about serious safety issues. She has filed a whistleblower complaint in federal court. It is very good to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. And this is the Energy Department's largest cleanup in anywhere in the United States, uh, trying to take those 56 million gallons of radioactive sludge that were in underground tanks and they're trying to turn that into solid glass and it is a massive project. How does this work? Well, um, the, the 177 tanks are distributed over quite a few square miles with an intricate net of pumps and pipes. When it is pumped to the facility that um, I was previously supporting, we would then treat that waste chemically to get some of the um, more dangerous constituents out of it. Um, and then after we had treated it chemically, we would actually put it into a melter with um, glass, silica glass, heat it up to high temperatures, and basically suspend that radiation in that glass matrix. And the issue was that the tanks that were underground were beginning to leak. They were old, and uh, the danger was that some of them were fairly close to the Columbia River, and there's real fear that somehow some of that radioactive material could get into the river. Yes, it's a fear, I think, based on reality. Um, the the single-shell tanks, which were actually installed and commissioned in, like, the 40s and 50s, those tanks have been known to be leaking to the environment for years. Um, we have confirmed that over a million gallons of this highly radioactive waste is actually leaked to the aquifer and is moving towards the Columbia River. Now, you were very concerned about safety issues in this incredible project because it's, it's, it's more than $12 billion already. It's been going on for a decade. Uh, there are all sorts of cost overruns. It's probably going to cost billions of dollars more. Uh, what were the main safety issues you were seeing? Well, the main, the main safety issues I think you, you, you teed up quite nicely, which is the radioactive waste in and of itself, when it mixes with water, generates hydrogen. When it comes into the waste treatment plant facilities and that, those chemical um, modifications to treat that waste, it creates additional hydrogen gas. So that hydrogen can get trapped in pipes, uh, it gets trapped in vessels, and my biggest safety issue with the hydrogen was it clearly had no control strategy to make sure that we did not have a detonation. So my job function is to make sure that we adequately design that hazard out so we can safely treat the waste. And how um, big? The, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, when when you talk about a detonation, how serious a detonation are we talking about? Oh, it, it would be a detonation in the vessels in our pretreatment facility that would impact um, portions of 160,000 gallons of that waste. And if you saw the videos of Fukushima, that was a hydrogen detonation, basically with the the, the fuel interacting with water. So it's a very it's a hydrogen reaction, and it's quite um, significant. Yeah, I know some uh, protesters have called Hanford that it could conceivably become America's Fukushima. Now you were a key employee of this company, and on February 18th, the executives called you in and they said you were being fired for unprofessional conduct? Yes. Now, we invited them to come on the show. They declined. Uh, uh, you were fired, again, for speaking out about these safety issues, and they said, though URS supports Mrs. Bushy's right to raise concerns and to express her personal views, we do not agree with her assertions that she suffered retaliation or was otherwise treated unfairly. Ms. Bushy's employment was terminated on February 18, 2014, due to issues unrelated to her purported concerns. Your reaction to that? 
my reaction to that is that the the can statement is what they have been saying since i chose to file for whistleblower protection but it it i can say that the department of energy has known since january fourteenth that bechtel and u r s had intentions to remove me from my position and officially asked the department of energy when the department of energy did not approve that um, it coincidentally a couple days later i was terminated so my belief is I was fired after I raised safety issues because I was in a key prominent position and they made the decision to get rid of me. And the Energy Department has said, uh, you know, they oversee the project technically and uh, they said that uh, they did not sign off on your termination and uh, your, your termination. And, and you're not the only one who's speaking out. A nuclear engineer who also raised safety concerns was fired in October after he had worked there for 44 years. Mm -hmm. So are you concerned? I, I'm sure most people watching this are concerned as we listen to this that anyone who speaks up about safety concerns uh, in any kind of environment like this would be doomed. Um, I think that that fear is genuine. Um, uh, Secretary Moniz came to Hanford to, to reach out to whistleblowers in June. Um, six of us were actually scheduled and had some one-on-one -on -one time with the secretary and his staff. Of those six people, five of us have been terminated, moved, or been forced to quit. And again, so, you're, you're not uh, objecting to, the, to nuclear plants or anything like that, and you think this could actually be done safely? Yeah, I absolutely, I am a nuclear engineer and I have dedicated my career to cleaning up sites like Hanford and I think it's imperative that we get the waste out of the tanks into a safe matrix so that it's not leaking into the groundwater. Donna Bushy, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Straight ahead.